I know very, very little about my family history. And I think it's because when I was growing up, my dad used to travel abroad a lot. We used to travel with him, so he lived in different countries. You know, we'd stay in a place for, say, four years and then move to another country, and then we'd move to another country. So we were just like this little unit moving around. And I think as a result of that, it didn't really occur to me to think beyond my immediate family. I don't really have any preconceptions about what's most important to me to find out. I mean, I've thought about what would I like to find out, and I think there's probably nothing worse than it being dull. Dull is not good. What would be great, I suppose, is if we've got some kind of a great character or some sort of, I don't know, I don't know, a mass murderer or a, or a stripper or someone extraordinary, you know, or someone who did amazing things. That would be fantastic. Fiona Elizabeth Bruce was born in Singapore in 1964. Her father worked for Unilever, and Fiona spent much of her early life abroad. After the family returned to England, she won a place at Oxford University. She began her career in television as a researcher on Panorama, and today, she is one of the most recognisable faces on the BBC. When I sit there, I'm quite short-sighted. I can't read the covers. Oh, yeah, yeah. She presents the Antiques Roadshow as well as reading the 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock news. The states the murder of his American wife. You want to keep American wife? To begin her journey into her family history, Fiona is visiting her parents who live in Axminster in Devon. Fiona's father, John Bruce, moved to London from Scotland when he was 15. Fiona's mum, Rosemary, was born in London, but given up for adoption as a baby. I've been trying to think why I know so little about my family. I mean, I know my dad's Scottish, obviously, and I imagine he comes from this line of fishermen, because that's what my granddad did at one stage. So I assume it's going to be pretty humble, you know, going up that side. My dad is a very strong character. I'm very close to him, uh, as I am to my mum. You know, he was someone who came from humble beginnings. He wanted to stay at school longer than he was able to. He had to leave school quite young so that he could earn a living. He started out as a postboy, and through sheer hard work and force of character, he ended up a managing director of a big multinational. So he, you know, he's an amazing role model in that way. This is my father this in is... about 1940. So this is granted when he was, he was on a ship when he was an engineer. Would that be in Scotland, do you know? Yes, it would be in Hopeman. Oh, in Hopeman. Oh, look at that! And this <laughs> is their wedding day. <laughs> look at Nanny. Not God. quite flapper, but... Almost. Almost. And I appeared about nine months later. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a tactical nine months, was it? So the connection to Hopeman is very strong, then? Oh, yes. Because I remember going back to Hopeman, do you remember when Grandad died? Mm. Mm. But I remember thinking how lots of people had your black hair and your very pale blue eyes. Mm. It really struck me that in only, that village lots of people looked like you. Only three real families, aren't there, in the village? The Buckfastens, the Sutherlands and the Bruces. It's not surprising everyone looked rather <laughs> the same. Yes. looked rather the similar, the then. Yeah. It must have been a pretty tough life, though, wasn't it, on the boats? It was horrendous life. And my mother determined that my brother and I should not go fishing. Really? Go to sea. Yeah. 